Welcome back everybody to another edition of Three Minutes of Moto. Today we will be discussing the sixth round of professional motocross which was held this past weekend at Muddy Creek Raceway in Tennessee. In today's Three Minutes of Moto, brought to you thanks to Slogs from Thumber Talk, because he told me to get my bitch ass out and do three minutes of moto off-road. So, here you go, Slogs. Slogs, whatever your name is. So let's get into it. 250 Moto 1, Adam C. and Cirillo with the whole shot, but couldn't hold on to it. Going down early in the moto, passing the lead to his teammate, Joey Savacci, who pretty much cruised to the first moto win, followed by Cooper Webb and Zach Osborne. Two. 250 Moto 2, local boy Shane McElrath getting the whole shot and holding it pretty much the whole way until Cooper Webb came around him on the last lap with Alex Martin rounding up the top three in 250 Moto 2. How about local boy Shane McElrath getting third overall on the weekend? I think that's pretty awesome for him. 450 Moto 1. It was a Ken Rocks and an Eli Tomac show. Both getting out to a decent start, slicing up the track and getting out to a lead. But Tomac in the end did not have it for Kenny. Tomac showing some great raw outright speed. But that's just proving to be not enough. I mean, these guys came around Cole Seely like he was a lapper. Four fifty Moto Two. Rock Tickle, Kenny's teammate, getting out to a great lead. But of course, Roxon and Tomac coming around him, still giving Tickle third overall on the weekend, thanks to his uh, six three compared to Cole Seely's three six. So overall feelings on this weekend's racing: some good battles between Eli Tomac and Ken Roxon. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. Also, third place podium position is basically going to be a mystery every weekend as far as I'm considered. A lot of third place podium contenders. Looking forward to some good racing coming up.